I'm actually university's cut off marker has always been 180 and I'm 80% sure it will still be 180 because Ekpoma has water and oh no Ekpoma does not have water be ready guys when I say be ready see I don't know where you guys are going to get this power from but be ready to push because you are so going to push with Barry. Hey guys, welcome back to Bobby Small's YouTube channel. The sun is giving. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new, welcome to Bobby Small's YouTube channel. Welcome to the family. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever I post. And please check out my other videos. And if you're old, you guys are the real deal. Thank you. Thank you and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is um today's video is titled things you should know before coming to Ambrosia University or things about I don't know what ever the name is you guys should have seen it right before this video <laughs> starts so yeah this is a highly requested video like people are always coming on my post asking me because I actually vlogged about when I was in Ambrosia University I graduated last year and I keep getting questions on my recent post about cut off what was the cut off mark does i'm surely have this do they have this do they have that so i was like okay fine i'm uh, like i keep replying them i keep replying them but more keep coming so i'm like okay fine let me just make a video so whoever is coming to my channel to check about i'm surely investing will come across this and probably get an idea of what the school is like and yeah so let's get right into this video so number one like i'm not having any list with me i just have it all in my head so we'll be going one after the other so let's make the video quick so number one what is ambrose ali university's cut of mark ambrose ambrose ali university cut of mark as of when i was still in the school or ever since i have known this school it has always been 180 so i don't know where you guys are getting the idea that um cut of mark is 150 or 160 i was even hearing somebody telling me 130 where did you where you get that from <laughs> And even if it gets to a point they will reduce it I don't think it should be more than probably maybe 150 but I doubt <laughs> I have a strong doubt on that I'm actually university's cut of has always been 180 and I'm 80% sure it will still be 180 so you guys should be calm they might likely release I say likely they will definitely release cut of mark for new intakes they always release cut of mark every year and it's always still the same 180 but on recent as of last year when i was graduating i'm recently increased their school fees from so and so amounts like i was in the accounting department and i was paying my school fees normally was 130 something or so as of last year when i was still in the school trying to round up i'm recently increased their school fees and till date it is still increased so because the last set that I entered as of when i was still in the school they paid the full school fees like the school fees is high people even had to withdraw as of now accounting now is paying almost 200 and something thousand for a year it's state university it's not private though it's state though we are paying almost 200 and something thousand for accounting so if accounting department is paying almost 200 and something thousand for a year what will medicine law will be paying so you can imagine how high the school fees is as of when i was like trying to get into this university their school fees started from 40 something 50 something and now when i enter when it was my turn to enter i was hearing 100 and something now that i'm leaving i'm hearing 200 and something so it might keep increasing just like i was saying but like what i'm trying to say is that since the school fees increased they might likely reduce their cut of mark but i doubt because the school fees has been increasing right from time and the cut of mark still stands as 180 so on a scale to 100 i will say when do like when Ekpoma will like want to release their cut of mark i am 80 percent sure it will still be 180 then maybe 20 percent 20 percent goes to probably they might change it but good luck to you guys so i just spoke of two points now the first point the cut of mark is 180 second point the school fees is high so you guys need to be prepared <laughs> you guys need to be prepared when coming like you need to know that you are going to pay so so and so amount and aside the school fees being high the cost of living there is also high the house rent is very high it's not like okay that goes to my number three point 
house rent house rent is high yeah the house i was, I was staying is safe coin as of when i was in 100 level we we're paying 105,000. 105,000 that's for your safe coin wave i was even lucky that i got that price because other houses in ekpuma we're paying like 150 180 200 something thousand just for safe coin we'll not even talk of like an apartment on its own but back in our where my twin sister is my twin sister pays like 80,000 60,000 you see safe corner of 60,000 but ekpuma was just excess aside the school is your pain you're now like trying to look for a house a house that is even comfortable not the one that you enter and you'll be facing issues upon issues because the house i was staying i was like having some small small issues and all that you fix this you think we have to call landlord we have to beg that we need to do this we need to do that so you get so um as of when I entered, I was paying 105000 But as time goes by, the house rent increased again. My landlord now increased it from 105 He increased it to 115 It keeps increasing from 115 It increased to 150 <laughs> So people were panicking, people were packing out. But where do you want to go to? Because it's just more like, I even felt our landlord was like, I felt he even did us a favor to like, allow us enjoying that house to that extent of increasing it to 150 because other houses like at the point that he was increasing it gradually other houses in the ekoma their own still stand 150 if you don't want to get out <laughs> so 180 if you don't want to get out they are not begging for you to come and like um they're not looking for students they're not begging you to come and enter their house because they will, they know that definitely you like somebody will definitely enter the house and the fact that it's not even like a one thing is a general something it's everywhere so definitely if you don't want the house somebody else will come to the house so that was it for ekpoma my fourth point is choosing a house like renting an apartment like or renting a house self con or whichever your choice is so i advise you that when you want to like choose a house make sure you inspect that house very well before going in also don't go online and be telling people that you want them to help you find the house go there yourself go if you don't have any place to stay there hotel they can just like go there for like two days so you don't end up renting or letting them scam you probably if you have a family member there to even help you much better self but if you want to choose a house go to the school make sure you go there walk around and look for a house advisable if you are in if you're going to be staying in main campus look for a house closer closer to main campus because the transport there is also high okada will cut your neck <laughs> okada will cut your neck yago boys in that school have spoiled okada with money they said that you're just going from this you're just let's just say you're just doing like this 60 seconds transport like you just want to go from year to year because i will tell you that you should bring 300 300 naira just from year to year like we i was staying to show you how close my house is to the school gate because i was not staying inside campus i was staying off campus like when i started the school normally it was 100 naira only me per person 100 naira two people 150 but as an extent that this young boy started spoiling them my house to school if you're not paying 300 get out so i advise you if you're looking for a house you should find a house that is close to school gate as if you're staying in main campus those ones staying in um college those college people college people you should look for a house to that to that side because um distance from college to main campus is far so don't go and rent a house in college meanwhile you're you are coming to main campus like you are in you are, you are not a nursing student you you have your your department is in main campus so why are you going to college to go and look for a house it's far but man if you have the money like i'm just trying to help you guys that would want to save cost if you know you want to save cost look for a house closer to campus that helps better it will even help yourself if there are times you don't have money you will check it me i check <laughs> if there is time you don't have money you will check it you leg it and enter school nothing will happen <laughs> but if you are coming for college ah, did this have to show you how far it is you cannot check it except you just want to faint on your week on your way getting there so my th my fourth point is if you are staying in main campus look for a house around main campus and i'm also advising you when looking for a house come if you don't have anybody come down to the school look for if you, if it's if you have a friend you can pitch in their house to find a house if you don't have a friend stay in a hotel pay for two nights within that two nights you found a place already you are 
no matter where you go to you will definitely see house that's just it house are available it's just that they are expensive so when coming hold your money <laughs> what should i say hold your money so they don't cut your neck hold correct money <laughs> so that was my fourth point number six <laughs> this one is the one that somebody was asking me on my <laughs> on my page does ekpoma has water and oh no <laughs> ekpoma does not have water be ready guys when i say be ready see i don't know where you guys are going to get this powerful but be ready to push because you are so going to push with barrel you are so going to carry gallon you see those 20 liter gallon 25 liter gallon you will jack it if you know you don't know how to jack go and be practicing how to move with barrel around because ah oh god ekpoma showed me shaky i pushed with barrel like i was what they call themselves these mirua people that uh, pushes river i pushed like them you will fe- ah, mm, you will buy water <laughs> ekpoma does not have water me that was forming Ajebo. Everybody's always calling me Ajebo. <laughs> Everybody's always calling me Ajebo. But I don't even know where that strength came from. To the extent that, see, as a girl, you need water. Oh. Boys, they always have their way around it. But as a girl, you need water. You need water. <laughs> I say you will fetch water. <laughs> Not just fetch, you are buying. So. Ekoma does not have water. If you are lucky enough, you can end up in a hostel that everybody's head is correct. When I mean everybody's head is correct, like when they say everybody should gather money, let's contribute money because every hostel always has well, well, as well to store water inside, and everybody comes out to fresh water. So as of my own hostel, we're having well, but it's not everybody's head that is correct. Because when they say bring money, let's contribute money so we can buy water, it's not everybody that wants to contribute. This one will tell you story. This one will say, ah, me, I don't have money. This one will tell you, I don't have money. But you see that same person I say does not have money, going to buy water. Okay. So if you end up in a hostel that everybody's head is correct, fine. You are even safe, safe. It will be better, but that doesn't mean you will not jack water. It just means that this tanker people that carries water, you guys will contribute money and pay them. So they bring water to your hostel and they put it inside your well. So as of my hostel, the time that everybody will have sense and contribute, probably when it's in half choke, everybody, everybody will not contribute. We'll buy water, we'll fill, we have two wells, so we fill the two wells. Sometimes we'll just fill one because of the cost of buying water because it's, it's expensive. So you buy water from tank, they bring it, they put it inside your well then. As of my hostel, we, we do it morning and night. So in the morning, we do it, everybody comes out with two gallons to fresh two gallons of water in the evening okay no we do it once in a day so for every day every day everybody comes out to fetch two, two gallon when we notice the water is finishing we now changed it to like one one gallon like sometimes no we do it two gallons then by weekend we do it three three gallons that's how we fetch it so everybody comes out in the evening with their gallon to come and fetch water from the well so we do it line by line if they catch you fetching more than this everybody will change it for you so school is foreign it is very foreign you just have to be careful so um if your hostel does not cooperate in buying water just be prepared to for you to be going outside to go and buy water so you're buying water wherever you're buying water for they always have a barrel so it's turn by turn something so you go and drop it and bring the barrel back to give the next person to go and use so in abuja i don't know where you're coming from but in abuja yeah if we want to buy water for mirua mirua sells water for us 10 naira 15 naira or 20 naira the least i see in abuja yeah that even if mirua wants to sell water for you is 20 naira but you see ekpoma hmm. ekpoma <laughs> sells one gallon of water 15 naira as of when i started this when i was in my 100 level i was paying 15 naira for a gallon so if you are paying as a gallon that gallon should not be more than 25 liter if it is more than 25 liter they will increase your money for you they say the gallon is too big especially all this because most people that sells water in ekpoma are those elderly women those conk ekpoma people they are the ones that sells water and you don't want to mess with them so um they sell fire gallon which is 25 liter for 15 naira. 200 naira that's how they sell it that was as of when i was in my 100 level but as time goes by they increased it per gallon 70 naira as of when i was living when i was rounding up the square and everything they increased it to 100 naira so per gallon is 100 naira so imagine you using 
500 naira to buy five gallon of water and imagine you're the type that uses water like me i like water and imagine you're the type that uses water you need to buy you need to be using for 500 naira every day to buy water man if i tell you the way i wash my plates in ekpoma oh this one is disappearing please don't disappear i want you to see my face ah god i'm tired of sitting down as of last year i was running off the school they increased it to 100 naira so imagine if you are the type that uses water anyhow ekpoma will calm you down in using water gradually if you are washing plates you need to see the number of water you have to use in washing plates like to wash to raise to, ah great you just need to be careful with water so that's it for my number six ekpoma does not have water just come prepared because you are going to push you will push you will push number seven let's talk about dressing Ekpoma does not allow anyhow dressing when you are going inside the school. They don't accept anyhow dressing. From that school gate, they will embarrass you. When I mean embarrass, they will disgrace you. <laughs> I've been disgraced once. <laughs> that was a story for another day. <laughs> that was in my new, I was in my 111 when I just entered. I was forming fine guy. I dressed. Oh God, they, they disgraced me. <laughs> But anyways, Ekpoma does not accept anyhow dressing. If you end up seeing people dressing, like dressing, exposing their boobs, their stomach, their breast, or anything, you see them exposing and you see them inside the squeeze because you're only allowed to wear stuff like that during weekends. Like from, I think Friday, Saturday. Yeah, I think they accept fri Friday too. But that Friday, I'm not really that sure. But Friday, Saturday, you can dress however you want to dress and enter inside the school to take pictures or because those are the times that people do enter school to take pictures to practice to do whatever they want to do inside school that, those are the times that you're allowed to wear stuff but from monday to thursday you dare not wear rubbish clothes from the gate because they're going to embarrass you and they're going to send you back home <laughs> so um if you come across people maybe during normal weekdays like monday tuesday you see them inside school exposing themselves those ones are allowed because they stay in school hostel once you stay in school hostel you know you're not going to pass the gates and enter from your school hostel you're going straight to class so there's nobody that's going to stop you there's nobody that's going to disgrace you but we that stays we that stay off campus we are going to we have to pass through the gates and there's no any other corner you have to pass through the gate and you passing through the gate they will catch you and they will disgrace you except probably you want to take clothes and you want to go and stay with your friend in the hostel then the next day you want to wear the clothes to class fine nobody will disturb you nobody will catch you but it still depends on your department there are some departments that are strict that the lecturer from the entrance he will send you back home why there are some lecturers that don't, don't care they are just going to like his opportunity to like enjoy the view <laughs> if you get what i mean so that's it you need to dress and most departments if you are not putting on your uniform you go back home <laughs> so like my department they were so strict with us putting on their sky blue you must dress complete your sky blue and your navy blue trouser with your box shoe <laughs> you need to dress with your bow tie like your tie this will be there like you need to do it to your neck it's not everybody has coins because everybody wants to be doing all those things some people will do it after one two days the thing died nobody was wearing it again but there are times that it is necessary for you to wear it if not especially exams if you don't wear it ah, you go fail you go miss your paper but during exam is like compulsory but every other day sometimes it's compulsory sometimes the lecturer will send you up out of his class if you're not putting on your sky blue and stuff, stuff stuff like that hey guys so let me quickly add a number eight to this and i know this number eight is also important to you all let me just quickly add this to it before i finally end this video so number eight is screening how does amishali do their screening amishali doesn't do posteriormy exam it has always been screening what i mean by screening is just that amrasali university's cut off mark is 180 which you must pass you must get that 180 or more than 180 if you get anything less than 180 count yourself out you won't be accepted don't even bother buying the form because you're just wasting your money number two that's i'm talking about how the screening is so number one you need to pass it's just two things you need to pass the cut of mark for you to come in for them to screen you so number two your wire result whichever result you're using either your wire result or your necro result has to be good 
because they're going to use that to screen you as well so as of my own time i was going for accounts and i need, really needed them to give me this accounting and i was having um d was it d or e my economics i even forgotten i got a low mark in my economics in my yek result so that was where i got the idea that okay fine i can upload two results to make my score and everything faster so i uploaded my two results which is my work and neko resort so i am um, immediately i uploaded those two results i was screened like just when you write post to me and they score you that's the same way once they screen you they send you your score so they screen you with your jam score and your work results so they use those two things to screen you and score you so once they score you you now use that score to check your departmental cut of mark meaning aside 180 amos ali has a departmental cut of mark which you must reach for you to gain admission that's yes for you to to to, to gain admission like if you have a lesser i don't know if you guys are getting me but aside 180 i'm sure he still has a cut of mark for various departments so yeah let me use myself an example so i got 205 in my jam and i used my work and neko resort to like when i got the form i uploaded my work and neko resort a portal will be created for you do so you submit you, you upload your work and i uploaded my work and neko resort as long as my jam score and my score came out and i was having 67 they scored me 67 and my departmental cut of mark was 55 to show you i was like i was good so admission was given to me and once my admission was given to me they gave me my course they gave me the accounting i want to study because i went was like i was i i got to the cut of mark so they gave me my accounting score so that doesn't mean that if your score is low you don't gain admission you gain admission but they might likely change your course they might likely give you a different course that is probably closer to what you wanted but because your cut of mark is low was not up to your departmental cut of mark they will give you a different course just so you know that's very important for you guys to know so you don't end up worrying that oh you got the cut of mark why are they give why not why are they not giving you your course probably it's because your departmental cut of mark you didn't get up to your departmental cut of mark so that's another reason why you need a higher jam score and there are some people who got 180 and still got their their um, their desired course so that works because 180 you need a good result if your work result is like very good that will also still help in boosting your score if your, if your work result is not that good and your jam is good that will also boost your score but if your work result is just 180 and your and if your jam is just 180 and your work result is not that good they might likely give you a different course so just so you know so i think that's it for screening so as of when i i was in school until i graduated it was always screening they are doing they don't write any exam or anything so like i was saying i don't know how this year would be well i'm 80 just where i said i was 80 percent sure about cut of mark being still 180 and i'm still 80 percent sure it is still going to be screening for you guys so yeah that's it for screening <laughs> for those people that have been entering my dm at least i answered a few of your questions answer a few people's questions especially that what i expect cut of math and school fees i answered your questions so as time goes on do your research so guys this video comes to an end if you want a part two please comment down below and if there are more questions you guys have in mind just comment it down below so if i'm making a part two i'm just going to answer all your questions and yeah so that's it for this video i hope you really do enjoy it and please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to hit your <laughs> please don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below whichever questions you have please just comment down below and i'll answer you guys on my next video so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and good luck to whoever that is going to amsterdam university i hope you really do enjoy your stay there and yeah that's it for the video bye bye guys thanks for watching bye